In this video, you will learn how to use GeoGebra to construct an isosceles triangle. Select the Segment Between Two Points tool from the Line toolbar. Click on the left side of the drawing pad to place the first point of the line segment. Point A is placed on the drawing pad with a line segment attached to the cursor. Move the cursor to the right on the drawing pad and click. This places point B and line segment AB labeled as lowercase a. This line segment will be one side of the triangle. Select the circle th with center through point tool from the circle toolbar. Click first on point A, then anywhere on line segment AB at least half the distance to point B from point A. This creates circle C centered at point A. Select the Compass tool from the Circle toolbar and click first on point C, then on point A. This creates a circle with the same radius as Circle C and attaches the center to the cursor. Click on point B to place the circle centered at point B. Select the New Point tool from the Point toolbar and click on the intersection of circles C and D. This creates point D. Select the Segment Between Two Points tool and create line segments from point A to point D, then from point D to point B. This creates line segment AD, labeled as lowercase b, and line segment BD, labeled as lowercase e. We know that line segments AD and BD are congruent because they are radii of congruent circles. Therefore, ADB is an isosceles triangle. Because GeoGebra is dynamic, we can see what happens when we adjust various elements of the construction using the Move tool. Moving points A or B changes the scales of line segments AB, AD, and BD, and circles C and D. Notice that line segments AD and BD remain congruent. Moving point C changes the radii of circles C and D, and therefore changes line segments AD and BD. Notice that if point C moves to less than half the distance from point B to point A, the circles no longer intersect. This is why it is important that C be placed in its initial position. Click on the yellow arrow in the upper right hand corner to undo the previous action, and point C moves to its previous location.